Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend warrior. What's the haps, lads and gals? It is I, the weekend warrior, and this time I didn't done did it. The Little Mermaid 2023 was always gonna be a bad remake. I didn't even have to watch it to know it was gonna fail. And unlike when they had these freak accidents when their remakes actually reached 1 billion, hopefully this time Disney will learn how to execute their remakes properly. You know, just put them out to pasture. I tip my hat to my peers that actually did a dive into this movie, but I could see that the milk has gone bad from a scene released on Twitter. And eventually the continuation or parts of it on YouTube. Little Mermaid 2023 totally missed the mark. And it's because of two reasons that I see. Poorly thought out additions and a misuse of the lead. The simplest solution to all of this was within Disney's grasp to begin with. Just make this into a 3D animated smorgasbord. And they're already doing that anyway. Who in their right mind thought this piece of shit crash grab, I mean cash grab, I mean trash, would be any good? I keep saying this about Disney remakes, they are the definition of soulless. This is supposed to be Flounder. He's not cute. Where's the mascot character? Fuck off with this shit. What made the classics great, what made them goated, was how emotive the cute animals and the little teacup and the candlestick, they, they emoted. And for some characters, you can actually have them depict emotions. And you cannot do that with realistic 3D shit. It just pales in comparison. Speaking of pales in comparison, this movie is bloated as fuck. The original movie was only at 83 minutes. This movie is more than two hours. And that can be explained by the bloat. Additional content that is not necessary to tell the story. And what I'm gonna discuss is a symptom of that problem. Everyone can't stop talking about it. You all know the song. Sing it with me, guys. Hey, have you not heard <laughs> I get it, okay? The annoying character is being annoying. Ha 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 I think it would be more endearing if the bird was actually cute and not some abomination. So that scuttle shit was part of an OST that clocks in at 40 minutes. Meanwhile, we got the original at 43, which is a little longer, but they told that story in 83 minutes. Half the time it took them to tell this stupid ass story. There is bloat in the execution of the film. Like, okay, let's look at the new songs here. Wild Uncharted Waters. Okay, that's new by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Oh, the Hamilton guy. Oh, he made Scuttlebutt? Why? <laughs> let's look at the lyrics. Ah, 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 ah. All I ever wanted was the open sea and sky. <laughs> okay. All I ever think about is you. There you are, ah, over me, ah. Taking me with your song to, ah. <laughs> what is this song? <laughs> okay, obviously it's like a pussy song where he simps over Ariel. Okay, I get it. But you have to set that up, right? However long it takes to set that up, that adds to the runtime of the movie. Another new song. For the first time, oh, oh my. For the first time, it's a song in the 2023 live action remake of The Little Mermaid, sung by Ariel. In narration? It's, it's in her head? But why? It's talking about the experiences from the moment she steps on land after her bargain with Ursula. So this song is basically, Look, I'm on land! Isn't it? No, it's not. Shut the fuck up. To be fair, Ryan, okay. There could be a good way to execute this. To add context to the new song. Or to add new story events. You could always do that. I just think it sucks. And I'm confident in saying that even though I have not watched this movie. Because, one, they changed the ending. Somebody spoiled it to me. Ariel is the one that kills Ursula. Ariel in her mermaid form. While Eric is the one in the rocks. That doesn't make sense. The original cartoon makes more sense than the realistic live-action remake. How does that work? And these idiots 
like Scuttlebutt. They put that in their movie. They're trying to be cute now. They released 20 language versions of Scuttlebutt. This is like Morbius all over again when they try to ride with the wave of the meme, but no one really gave a shit. You are not in on the joke. You are the joke. Any insertions made to the original to make this remake would be poorly executed. Speaking of poor execution, they did Haley Bailey dirty here. Halle Bailey? Because I listened to the OSC because of this fucking analysis. And she could sing. That is her greatest asset. So what the brilliant minds at Disney did was to take away her asset by casting her as a mute for half of the movie and then inserting some narration song that ultimately would not matter. Brilliant. In this scene, she can't really act in the way that Disney needs her to act. There's a zoom in here. There's an intentional zoom in in this part where the idiot bird is going, oh, Prince Eric is planning something. And then Ariel reacted because obviously she has trepidation. She likes Eric and she cannot emote here. What is this expression trying to convey? Exactly. I'm just inferring what they want her to do. But she can't do it yet. She hasn't reached that level. And this scene is with, you know, blue people probably. So she's trying her best with what little Disney is giving her. Ian McKellen whining that when you're in green screen, that's not what acting is. Acting is easier when you have someone to play off with. And this is not it. During this moment also, there's a flyby with the annoying bird and the vase falls off and she doesn't react. Like her face when she's lying down, zoom in, is the same here. So this is probably a cue in the blue screen. Like, okay, pay attention, Haley. The vase is going to drop and she just catches it and the song is playing in the background. And she's supposed to react like, woo, it fell. And she can't do that yet. To be fair to her, there is a part here in this clip where she's annoyed. She actually looks annoyed when she talks to the seagull. That's a point for her. One out of three. So there's a 33% chance that she can actually act. That, that is my made up estimate of how she acts in this movie. Don't trust me. <laughs> From the stills I see with Eric, they look like they're having fun, but she's no JLo. She's not in her final form. So she can't really be a well-rounded singer actress. She doesn't have a Will Smith to help carry the movie. Honestly, I feel like this movie should do better than Lion King. It's Steven Seagal's favorite movie. Why would you do this to your main actress? It's very baffling to me. I am putting the blame on Disney here because they have the easiest fucking solution. Yeah, just 3D animate this shit. You got your Disney animation studio. They're not putting out hits. Strange World's more like turd bird. Do you know how much money they could have saved here theoretically? The budget for Strange World is ranging from 135 to 180. It's possibly higher if they ranged it. And this recent animated film only cost $100 million to make compared to what Disney shelled out for Little Mermaid. And this little film that could is fucking across the Spider-Verse. What they should have done is remade this in 3D, like Frozen, the Little Mermaid. Instead, Disney keeps going through this live action route when it's almost entirely fabricated. This is not live action. This is Roger Rabbit, but in cringe 3D. Fuck this shit. And in 3D, you can help Ariel emote and you can still have her sing the good ass songs. What's wrong with you? Why do they keep doing this? It's because the Lion King made an exorbitant amount of money. Aladdin made money. They will keep doing this over and over again. No, God, please, no, no. This time I think it actually didn't make money. So maybe they're gonna think about this shit. Guys, I know you're smart. You know that this is just gross income. It's not net. You gotta look at the ticket sales. How much of the 340 do the cinemas get? How much did marketing cost? Was that included in the budget? Or did they add something after they say that they only spent 250 million? Also, you gotta consider how much the government gets through taxes during all of this and the final tax, whatever the fuck that is. So I'm willing to bet this has not made back its money. You could say that it's floundering at the box office. <laughs> what? Why are you booing me? 
It was an easy joke to make. I had to do it. I had to take high percentage shots and let's take the wide open shots. I think Disney should go back to animation if they insist on making remakes. They should just do a one-to-one -one conversion of the old animated cartoon but in 3D. That will always be inferior to the original, sure. But if they want to like make a remake, this live action shit is just too annoying, too cringe. It should just expire. If you've made it here to the end, I want to thank you for traveling with me on this cringe journey. This channel is run with ads in the beginning and in the end. I pledge not to do any ad reads because I feel that's cringe and it inhibits my creativity. And to sponsors from Patreon. Especially to these outstanding patrons. Black Vulcan X, Bonof M. Yisod, Delatar Teeps, Robot Eye, Shaped Like Bacon, Marcelo Oliveria, John Lemley, Registered Good Boy, Hjortor S. Hjortorsen, Chet McMasterson, and Tad586, as well as these other wonderful warriors. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.